I flew to LA to get my nails done by Kim Kardashian's nail artist. This is Britney Boyce, also known as Nails of LA. Her clientele includes the Kardashians, Megan Fox, Machine Gun Kelly, Charlie D'Amelio, and so many more. How much do you charge for nails as well? Um. One thing I was not prepared for was the price of these nails. Hello guys, good morning. I just woke up, I'm in LA. I got here yesterday and I woke up to a DM from Kim Kardashian's nail artist. And she's gonna come to the Airbnb and do my nails for a video. Kim Kardashian isn't the only person on her celebrity roster though. She's also done nails for Megan Fox, Machine Gun Kelly, Shay Mitchell, Olivia Rodrigo, Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio, Iggy Azalea, Kourtney Kardashian, and they're all returning customers as well. I'm so intrigued to ask her questions. I'm gonna do some digging. I wanna know the rudest celebrity she's ever met, the nicest one, the biggest ones, the ugliest ones, the sexiest ones. I wanna know it all. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I need to have a think. I'll have a think, sleep on it, and let you know tomorrow. I'm gassed. If there's one thing that you guys should know about me, it's that I love my acrylic nails more than anything. So this, I am so excited for. Good morning, guys. Today is the day I've decided on my nails. I think I'm going to get French tip chrome. Actually, I'm not gonna tell you. You can wait and find out. Otherwise, you're just giving it all away. I'm really excited. I just got out of the shower. I've done a curly girl hair routine because I found out that my hair has a natural wave to it. So I started using curly girl products. Sorry, on TikTok. And all you guys are telling me to do it on Snapchat. You gave some great advice, by the way. But yeah, we'll see how this dries. Also, I'm really manifesting summer because I'm wearing a little silk pink dress. I think it's quite cute though. I really like it. Let's fix this mess. <laughs> Okay, right now I'm deciding on the length that I want. I'm going for an almond shape, which is crazy for me because I always go for straight, like, square nails. She's just gone to grab the nail stuff. I am so gassed so far. I'm so excited to get these nails done. I was going to get them really long and get, like, pointy stiletto nails, but no, no, no. I will poke someone's eye out or my own eye. These are cute. Hey, guys. So, I'm here with Brittany. I have honestly been so excited to get my nails done because they're in need of some yes. TLC. Yeah. So, anything? do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Brittany. I am a nail artist here in LA and that's about it. <laughs> Doing her thing. I was kind of stuck on what to get and I sent over like a message just with a brief kind of explanation. I wanted like French tips with just some added bling and extras, but my creative skills are next to nothing, so that's where Brittany comes in. Very useful, where she could use her creative talents. Ready when you are. <laughs> Great. Just before we get into this video, I want to let you guys know that I've just released my own bikini brand called Earth Swim. I worked on designing these bikinis for almost two years and they're finally out. They're really high quality, but also super affordable. I'll leave a link in the description to take a look at the website if you're curious. So far, I'm overwhelmed at the response from you guys. I literally created my dream bikini and you guys seem to love them. So thank you. So how did you get into doing nails and how long have you been doing them for? I've been doing nails for about nine years now. Oh wow. Yeah. School for hair and then just kind of like made the switch after I got my license into nails. It's worked out. Definitely. I was looking on your Instagram and like your nails mm -hmm. obviously that you do are insane and you have yeah. such an insane roster of celebrities. How does that happen? Like how do you build up a roster like that? You know, I started working on sets and then I kind of just got referred to someone that like put me in touch with Megan. Megan was looking for someone to do gel extensions on her nails for a movie. Mm -hmm. And so I went to her and she just loved her nails and she was like, I can't believe I've like lived my whole life without this. What's like the craziest set of nails you've done in terms of how they looked or even time that it took to do them? I would definitely say uh, last year in May for Billboard Awards, I did a $30,000 diamond manicure on Machine Gun Kelly. And um, it like didn't look the craziest that I've done, but I had to drill into like a press on nail. I had to individually drill 880 diamonds. Like I had to like drill a hole and set the diamonds because diamonds are point back. Oh and yeah. And so that yeah. took forever. So it was like at least like 12 hours of prep work the day oh. before and making sure that like the diamonds were going to stay on and you know, the whole situation of that. Mm -hmm. But they were really cool. And then we ended up afterwards I removed them from him and sent them back to my jeweler, Maro Fine in San Diego, and um, 
I sent them back to her and she created 18 rings and we sold those and donated 100% of everything to charity. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we raised like, you know, $50,000 and sent them, you know, sent it to a charity that he picked. And so at least it was like for a good cause mm -hmm. too. Okay, so this is going to be the medium. Mm -hmm. We would round this out slightly just so you get kind of a better almond shape. Okay, I feel like that's quite a good length. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That is long. Oh my God. That is like a dagger on my nail. Yeah, <laughs> mm, yeah no, I, I, I genuinely do not trust myself with nails that long. This is so perfect as well, because I literally landed in LA yesterday, and I was like, oh, thanks for doing my nails like so quick as well, because and now I have them for the rest of the trip. Oh yeah. Well, like, I saw your nails like on something that you posted recently, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like she has her nails done, they're a little bit grown out, perfect, and then you obviously. Bit, I bit them off one yeah. by one. <laughs> obviously <laughs> removed them. <laughs> How come you don't like to do straight, like, square nails? I don't know. Square's just, like, not a thing here. Really? Yeah. What, in LA in general? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, like, I know, like, Hailey Bieber, like, she has, like, a, a good, like, natural, like, long nail and nail bed. And I haven't worked with her, but, like, you know, just, like, seeing, like, her nails, like, posting and stuff where mm -hmm. it looks good on her, but, like, they're not long. They're just, like, a natural, like, nice long nail, and her nails look good. So it's, like, you have to have the right hand for it, I think. I was gonna go for the silver chrome on the French tip. Like, a body metal vibe, but but uh, it's not really suiting my aesthetic right now, which is a pink silk dress <laughs> and like blonde curly hair ready for the summer. So I think we're gonna do a pastel purple tip. If you want to be more like girly instead, you know, things like that are cool. I also, I mean, I have tons of sheets of these, but like these are like my decals. Oh, that cute. You know, I like th eyes and like, you know, like mm -hmm. that cute. I have them in silver and gold. I really like those ones to be fair. When I was messaging you saying like maybe with some stickers on there, the ones that I saw on like a set of nails where yeah. I was like, they're cute. Yeah, like they're so cute. You know what I mean? Like I'm aliens and money signs and- Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know. The first chrome nail has gone on. <gasps> cute. Do you cute, like cute, the cute. color? Okay. Definitely. That is perfect. Because I thought at first it was going to be a bit darker, but like yeah. I'm glad that it's not. I prefer yeah. it like a more lilac-y color. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cute. Cute. Who's your favorite, not that you have to have favorites, but who's your favorite client to work with? Definitely Megan, I think. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of cool things. Like the 30,000 pound or dollar manicure. Yeah. Did that. you see the solid gold nails I did for her a few weeks ago? I don't think I saw those. Yeah, so I had um, like the same nail tips that I put on you. I have them sized and I like pre-shaped them and then I brought them to my jeweler in San Diego and we sent them to be 3D scanned. They created molds like from the 3D scan and then filled the molds with solid, like with 14 karat white gold. Oh. <laughs> and so like the whole nail, it was like 100%, like there was no plastic, nothing. It was just 100% solid gold. I glued them on like a press on nail. Oh, <laughs> so cool. It looks that so is good crazy. Too. It kind of seems a bit illegal, like then just gluing it on like a press on nail after all that I work. Know. What event was that for? Uh, it was for the Grammys. Oh, that is crazy. Yeah, it was like a few months long. Like it was like definitely like a process. Who's your rudest celebrity you've ever worked with? All my clients have been so easy. Really? Yeah, like all every client. Like I like have never been in a situation where I'm like, wow, I'm not doing that again. Mm -hmm. I think it just depends, you know what I mean? I think like, especially like at this point in my career, it's like, like they want me to be there. You know what I mean? Like yeah. This isn't like someone going to a salon, getting a bad set of nails and they're like, oh, hell no. You mm -hmm. know, like it's like very different. It's like they like want me to be there for a reason. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like I don't have like weird mm -hmm. vibes. Like everyone's genuinely like just super nice. That's know? so good. Okay, we're going for a 222 design on one of the nails. 222 is like my angel number, the one that I see all the time and like identify with the most, so. Is there any celebrity that you would meet where you would have to find girl? So like the only person that I like legit really, really, really like have always wanted to work with and it's so random and people always laugh when they hear me say this, but like the one person and I've like put it out into the universe like a lot, like the one person that I really want to work with is Snoop Dogg. <laughs> He's like the one person. Like if anyone could be like pick anyone, I would pick like 1000% pick him. And like he, I don't know if you like know much about him, but like he has like a long pinky nail. And so like my whole thought, like before I did this like $30,000 like manicure, you know, whatever, was like I want to like work with a jeweler and like 
do something dope with like diamonds and emeralds and like you know just mm-hmm. give them like a ten thousand dollar like pinky nail yeah, yeah 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 and i was always like that would be so fucking cool like i really want to do that like and i know people that know him you know but like i don't know i think it'd be so cool because like he hasn't done that how much do you charge for nails as well um i mean it depends like something like this i was gonna give me like a discount would be probably like 600 mm-hmm. or so but then like simpler things you know what i mean like 400 which depends mm-hmm. really like what it is like extensions or um or if it's just like a gel manicure you know like i have some clients that are like so simple mm-hmm. i guess that's a good thing as well about like when like when you're like freelancing and when you have like a high demand for clients as well when mm-hmm. you can just be like it's like you know what if you want to be a client then this is like what the standards are now. Yeah. Okay, just put both hands flat. We just have to look at the stone just seem to like set. Cute! I'm gonna carry out. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna be so sad when they like had you all. I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> She's like, why would you mention that? <laughs> but this is why we get out of things. Look <laughs> at the shape as well, like how perfect. Yeah, they, they literally like a nice so, so, so perfect. Because I feel like with the blonde hair and like, uh, eyelash extensions, fake boobs, and the lip filler, and like the square tacky nails, it just creates like a picture that I'm not too keen on. Whereas like the almond nails are like, oh, so graceful. Let's talk about how much they cost me. 500 pounds. $500 they cost me. Oh my god, I was not expecting that. It should have been more. She gave me a discount because I was filming this video, but it should have been about £600, which is crazy. I just... That's like the price that I paid for the Cardi B nails because I paid $700 for those. However, one thing I wanted to say, the reason why I've ended the video here is because I wanted to update you on how they've lasted. It's been about three weeks since I got my nails done and they are all still on, which is crazy for me because I lose a nail after five days when I usually get them done. Just for proof, a full set of acrylics on this hand and a full set of acrylics on this hand. And I don't think they're ever gonna fall off. I think I'll just have to get them redone when they're too outgrown. I remember when she was doing my nails and she said that it'd be 500 pounds. I didn't react. Mm-hmm. That's because I didn't want to be like shocked for the video. Do you know what I mean? I didn't want to put her on edge or anything like that. But my friend Maya audibly gasped from the living room. She was like, like just choked. It was an investment, okay? I invested in this video. That's what I'm going to tell myself. Also, the whole time I was in LA, I got so many compliments on my nails, like so many. People just being like, I love your nails, oh my God. And then like the 222 on the thumbs, like that was a big hit with people. I wish there was more people doing this method of acrylic nails in London, but it's not really a thing. Is it Biab? No, I don't think it is. Yeah, it's called Biab. It's kind of common in the UK, but not really. Brittany was so funny as well. I really liked her vibe. We had so many good conversations that I wasn't able to put in the YouTube video because it might have been slightly controversial. It's like, who's gonna like turn down and like being like, fuck yeah, I'll hit that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah. Right? Like, I don't care if you smoke weed or not. Like, I don't care if you're allergic to weed. Like, you fucking smoke that. <laughs> you're you know? And YouTube would have just demonetized the video because of the language and stuff. Also, let me know in the comments if you're still watching this video. It means so much when people watch until the end of the video. I never know if people really do though, or if it's that many people that watch the whole way through. So if you did, thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in a future video. Bye.